everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. In today's video, we're giving advice about dating in the furry fandom. So let's get started. Tip number one, make sure you're compatible beyond furry stuff. Having the fandom as a built-in interest is a pretty cool icebreaker and a great way to get to know somebody off the bat. But moving forward, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have other shared interests. I mean, you guys don't have to like all the same stuff, but it's really fun to be able to share in more aspects of your life than just furry things. And now, tip number two! Don't date someone for superficial reasons. Unfortunately, this is kind of a problem in the furry fandom. I've heard of people trying to date people because either they're a popular artist, or maybe they're really talented, or maybe they even just have a cute fursuit. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with wanting to get to know someone that you admire. Just make sure it's the person that you're interested in, not what the person has or can do. You want to like them for them. And now, tip number three. Keep an eye out for opportunities to connect with people. One really awesome thing about furries is they love gatherings. I mean, from panels to meetups to conventions to all the other crazy gatherings that furries have, there's lots of opportunities to meet people. So take advantage of those opportunities to make some new friends. Which brings us to tip number four. Be patient. Much like a typical friendship, a romantic relationship takes time to cultivate. Sometimes you just click and it happens really quickly. Other times a friendship might eventually develop into romantic feelings. Sometimes it might not happen at all, and that's okay. Remember, there's plenty of fish in the sea. And now, the last and most important tip of all, number five, be yourself. Because the fandom's so internet-centered, sometimes it's easy to fall into the habit of hiding behind a screen and presenting yourself as an online persona. Oh, you mean that thing you're doing right now? Just remember, it's important to be honest with your partner about who you are. Because I mean, you want them to like you for you. Remember, no single person is worth being untrue to yourself. Thanks for watching this week's Fursuit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any furry dating tips that I missed in this video, go ahead and leave them in a comment down below. Also, if you guys really like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe, or to directly support the content on this channel, you can go to my merch store and Patreon links in the description below. Speaking of patrons, I want to thank these lovely patrons for producing today's episode. And I want to thank these patrons for sponsoring today's episode. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Psh